Good night, good night. Have one day tonight. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Irma J. Spiritual Divine. I'm here to give you a word on tonight. And the topic going to be um, Jesus. Jesus is going to be telling this story in a parable about a great banquet. So Jesus will tell this story in parables of the great banquet. You know, or the wedding feast of the marriage of the king's son. You know, it's a uh, it's a parable that's told by Jesus. Now, this man, who they call Master, was the host who gave out three invitations. You know, and not all three had excuses. You know, and he will have his servants to go out in the street to get people to come and fill up the hall. You know, so so the invitation that he gave out. They all made excuses. So then he going to send his servant out to get, to, to get people to come in and fill the hall up. You know, so those who he invite will not get a taste of the banquet. But open doors for the ones he, he, he will fill up the hall. You know, so he was angry. Now he give out, I guess he didn't want to be angry. He give out invitation. And then no one showed up. They had all had came up with excuses, you know. So, but then having we all been impolite with guests, you know, to go, you know. So, um, having we at times say that we will spend time with him, that we will be more devoted to him. But yet, when the time come, we be just like um uh, them making excuses. You know, each of these um, decisions, we have new purchases, you, you know, uh, uh, other things um, will come up, you know, with us away from the one who had prepared a banquet for us, you know. So, uh, this story will be coming from Luke chapter 14, verse 15 to 24. Now, this, this is going to be a man gonna be planning a large banquet you know and he gonna call himself a uh, master okay so um the main master is ready is God you know is ready is God and um so God is ready is the one that planned this bank. He's the one that really planned this bank. You know, so, um, so um, one they have up here, um, when one of those at the table with him heard this, he said to Jesus, Blessed is the man who will eat at the feast in the kingdom of God. You know, so uh, one at the table, he said, Jesus, uh, he said, Jesus, blessed is the man who will eat at the feast of the kingdom of God. You know, so this Jesus telling the story in parable. Remember the one man that spoke up and said at the table. He said he um and he is a Jew. You know, he is a Jew. You know, so Jesus replied, a man planted a large banquet and sent out invitation. Now this is the parable he's telling the story about this this um master that planted this um, banquet. Now, the, the master already sent out invitation. You know, he sent out invitation to the guests. You know, so now the food is ready. So food is ready. So he's telling his servant, now go get, go contact the people that um, I get invitation to and let them know everything is ready. You know, so when a, um, so when a servant went out to everyone, the, the let them know the food is ready. All invitation he sent out had excuses. You know, so the one had excuse to say he brought a fifth. You know, the second one had excuse to say he brought five on um, your gods. You know, the third excuse was, oh, we just got married. You know, so all these people that, you know, he sent some invitations to, they all had excuses. No one showed up. You know, so the master who planned the banquet, you know, is God. You know, so um, the great banquet. The, the great banquet is the kingdom. 
you know, so the ones he invite was prepared for the king, you know. So Jesus um uh, wanted to preach that word to them to prepare them to um to go to kingdom, you know, salvation, you know, but they they refused. They all had excuses. Excuses meaning they reject Jesus preaching. You know, they did not want it to receive him. You know, the excuses for spurning Jesus, uh, spurning them away from Jesus' uh, message. You know, they didn't want to hear the message. And Jesus was trying to prepare them for the kingdom, you know, but they rejected. You know, so they had every reason to accept him as their Messiah, but they refused. You know, why would you, you know, refuse uh, to go to the kingdom, you know? You that's the only way when you die to go to the kingdom. If you refuse to go to the to the kingdom, you going down with the devil. You know, so uh those he invite, you know, so he so those he invite, you know, consider unclean and it was um under God curse. You know, so they were Jews and it was unclean. You know, so Jesus was sending an invitation out to them to let them know, you know. It's valuable to anyone. You know, it doesn't matter if you're unclean. It doesn't matter if you're a sinner. You know, Jesus will send an invitation out to, um, God will send an invitation out to everyone, anyone. It doesn't matter who you was, you know. But now, you know, they is under God curse because they reject Jesus. You know, so Jesus taught that the kingdom was available even to those considered unclean. You know, so the servant came back and told the master that all had excuses. You know, so the master was angry. You know, God was angry and ordered the servants to go out quickly. See, God do things quickly. He said, go out quickly. You know, go out in the street. Go out in the alley. You know, go out to the town. You know, you bring in the poor. You bring in the cripple. You bring in the blind. Bring in the land. Bring them all in. You know, and do all this here quickly. You know, because everyone, the invitation he gave out, you know, they all had excuses, you know. So he said, quickly, go out and get all these people, you know. And so the servant said the order had been done, but there's still room, you know. So he got a lot of people, but they still have more room. You see, that was a big old hall Jesus was going to be preaching at, you know. So the servant went out and pers persuade, persuade the people to come to this hall. You know, so he had to go out and get more people, you know. So the people on the servant, uh, when got out in the street, was the Gentile. You know, so the people he got out in the street, all in the alley, and all, you know, all them was um, Gentile. You know, so the offer of salvation will be extended to the Gentile. You know, now the Jewish, they reject, but the Gentile, all, they, they receive it. You know, and to the end of the earth. You know, so they receive it. They receive the salvation, you know, to go to the kingdom. You know, um, but the Jews reject it. You know, so God is more willing to save sinners than sinners are willing to save themselves. You know, so uh, did those people reject um, Jesus? You know, so God had to go out. I'm going to find some more people that wants to hear this word. Who wants to hear how they, um, Jesus going to prepare them for um, salvation. You know, so the Gentile was willing to receive and accept Jesus' message. You know, so now the servant brought people in which are the Gentile, but the hall still not full. You know, so he had to go out and get more people, you know. So now the master told his servant, go out. You know, go out in the road, go out in the country, you know, go out in the land, go out everywhere. So we're going to fill up this hub, this hall. We're going to fill it up. So the servant did just that and filled up the hall. You know, so now the hall is full and the master wishes God said those men who were invited would not get a taste of my banquet. You know, he said they would not get a taste. The, the ones that he invited, which was the Jews. He said they will not get a taste of his banquet. You know, those who ignore the invitation chose their own punishment. Now, they chose their own punishment. You know, that, I mean, they just refused to hear the preparation that Jesus was going to give them um, for salvation. You know, they refused. You, you know, so they missed out 
you know, and they wind up being under God curse because they reject Jesus, you know. So when he say they, they won't get a taste of his banquet, meaning God say, um, God judgment on those who chose to reject Christ, Jesus Christ, you know, in other words, they will not, you know, they will not, they will never taste the jaw of heaven. And see, that's what they miss out on. You know, Jesus was preparing them for the kingdom. You know, and so they reject the kingdom. You know, so God said they will never see the taste of the jaw of heaven. They mean, they're not going to go to heaven. You know, so what else they going to do? You know, you're going to reject. You're going to reject the, um, the message that Jesus was trying to prepare y'all for. You know, you reject it. You, you know, so God said, you will not taste the jar of heaven. You know, so that was the taste of the, uh, of the banquet was, the taste of jar of heaven, that they will not see it. You know, so the basis message is the parable of the great banquet, the tragedy of the Jewish rejection of Christ. You know, so has opened the door of salvation, you know, to the Gentiles. You know, so they refused. So he went and got all the Gentiles and they received, they received. You know, so the blessing of the kingdom are valuable to all who will come to Christ by faith. You know, so God not going to make you, you know, want to hear, hear, hear the preparation of salvation. He's not going to drag you on. You know, he's not going to make you. You know, you refuse, you refuse. You just want to get a taste of the jar of heaven. You know, and you went got all kind of people off the street. They all were Gentile, but they were lame, blind, everything else. But they came in there to hear that um that word from Jesus that Jesus was um, doing preparation for the salvation. You know, they was willing to hear. They got free food and everything else. You all that well, you know, I saw the movie. All that food they had, you know, they got free food, you know, hear um you know, free hearing the the word for free. You, you know, so they, they, they had they had a blessed day. You know, they had a blessed day. You know? So, um, the message was, the message was the invitation that he was giving out to anyone. It didn't matter who you were. It didn't matter what religion you was. It didn't matter what color you were. It didn't matter if you was blind, old, poor, or whatever unclean a sinner it, it didn't matter um god sent an invitation out to anyone you know they was unclean you know so god was letting them know it doesn't matter matter who you are or what you are you know i'm sending this invitation out for salvation for anyone it's available for anyone who willing to receive so they wasn't really willing to receive it you, you know, they didn't want to receive Jesus. And you got you got the um we all got to realize you have to receive Jesus order to go to the king the kingdom. You you cannot reject him, you know, and think God gonna accept you in the kingdom. You have to receive and accept Jesus here before you go to the kingdom. Because if you reject Jesus, just like God said, you will not taste the jar of heaven. You know? So um the what we got out the lesson today is one, the great banquet was the kingdom of salvation. It was the kingdom. You know, you know, Jesus talking about, you know, it always means something. You know, so the great banquet was the kingdom of salvation. You know, not two. They talk about the master who who hosts the banquet. You know, that was God. You know, so three. God's invitation to the Jews was unclean, but the but but He was letting them know, you know, it doesn't matter who you are or what you are, the salvation was available to anyone, you know, and so uh, so they reject and ignore the invitation. So for Jesus was going to preach a message to the Jews, but they used excuses, meaning. They reject and they didn't want to receive him as a Messiah. You know, so five, we see the Jews was unclean. But God still was willing to give them an invitation, you know, for um for the kingdom of salvation. You know, it was a, it was available 
to anyone, you know, who willing to receive it, but they refuse, you know. So when Jesus preached that word, when any of us prophets preached that word, it's for anyone. It's not for a special group. No, no special group. It's for anyone, you know. And those particular Jews was unclean. They called themselves unclean, you know. So they thought no, nobody wanted to be bothered with them. So go ahead and let them know, I'm giving you an invitation. This, this invitation for anyone, you know. Anyone that's unclean, anyone that's a sinner, anyone that's lame or, or, or whatever the case is. It was an invitation to anyone. You know, who wants to hear that word from Jesus preparing them for the kingdom of salvation. You know, and they refuse. They refuse. So, um, five. The Jews reject Jesus. But God sent an order out to bring the Gentiles in. You know, so the, the you know, the group of people he got in, it was the Gentile who received Jesus. They received Jesus. And the Gentile filled the hall up and received Jesus' message. You know, Jesus preached that word, preparing them for the kingdom. And that's what he did, the same thing he was going to do to the Jews. But they they did not want to accept, uh, accept him. You know, they didn't want to receive him. You know, but the Gentiles received um, Jesus' invitation. You know, and he prepared the way for them. You know, so six, we see that the Jews ignored the invite and chose their own punishment. You know, so the master said they would not get a taste of the jaw of heaven. Would not get the taste of the jaw of heaven. You're going to re refuse his son and think you're going to go to the heaven. All all us on earth cannot refuse Jesus and think you're going to still go to heaven. You have to acknowledge, you have to accept him as a Messiah, and you have to listen to the message that he's trying to prepare us for to the, the, the kingdom. You know, so, so the Gentile received Jesus and uh, the salvation for for the kingdom. You know, you know, um, first, you know, first we have to accept, you know, the invitation and receive Jesus' um, message. You know, we have to receive it. You know, and so the Jews they refused to uh, to 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 uh, receive it. You know, they refused to accept. Him as the Messiah, you know, and that's how some people is, you, you know, just because who you are, you know, sometimes they will not receive you, you know, they will not receive you, you know, so Jesus went through a whole lot of rejection, a whole lot of betrayal, a whole lot of dislike, you know, I thought I was the only one, but he went through a whole lot of, also the same thing I'm going through, you, you know, and so, um, just because who he is, who he was, you know, he rejected from his own hometown, you, you know, so all he wanted to do is preach and prepare people for the kingdom, you know, and this, you know, they was unclean, so Jesus would let them know it is valuable to anyone, you know, it's valuable to, to anyone, that's what he would let them know, you know, it doesn't matter who, who you is and what you are, you know, it's valuable for anyone. You know, and so he, he trying to prepare them for that kingdom, and they reject him. You know, so God went out and got people from everywhere. Go, go in the back, go in the alley, go in the street. You know, go on the bridge, go, go anywhere and get these people. He brought all them people in, and all them people received Jesus' word. You know, you know, just like, just like when he went home to his hometown, they reject him. But guess what? He took and left them and went somewhere else where people receive him. You know, they, they may have so many people will reject you and may not want to receive your word. But they got somebody else that's willing to receive it. And that's how Gentile was. They was willing to receive Jesus' own word. You know, so we can't please everybody. You know, and we can't make people and pull their own and say, look, you got to sit here and listen to God and Jesus will not try to make you, you know, listen to, to be prepared for the kingdom. If you reject, that's your church of your own punishment, you know, because that's what the, um, the Jews was, you know. They, they received their own punishment. They were under God's curse because they reject Jesus. 
you know. And so Jesus is going to always tell a story in prayer, but then it's going to always mean something, you know. So this great banquet, this great banquet was the kingdom. And the master who planned that banquet, you know, set everything up, it was God. And see, God was willing to save people that didn't even want to be saved. You know, he was trying to save the Jews, but they didn't want to be saved. You know, so God always tried to bring people closer to him. You know, he don't just bring people to the kingdom just like that. You know, it's a price to pay to go to the kingdom. You know, you can't just say you're going to go to the kingdom. Because, you know, it always, you got to go to God even to get to the kingdom. And first, we have to we have to accept Jesus. We have to we have to realize that He came down on this earth to save us. You you know, and if He's trying to prepare that way for you for the kingdom, I mean, you have to receive it. You know, and if you reject it, look what happened to the Jews here. You know, they own their own punishment by rejecting Jesus. You know, and he only was trying to prepare the way for the kingdom. You know, so that's all the word I have for you on today. And remember, always, you always got to call on Jesus. You, you know, he is the way to the kingdom. You know, so if he's trying to prepare that way for us, do not reject. You know, accept, accept his word. You know, because you need preparation to get to the kingdom. You know, it, uh, it's always, it's come with instruction, you know. You know, it's, it comes with instruction, it comes with a test, it comes with your faith and everything else. You know, but it's not just that easy just to go to the um, kingdom and you cannot reject his son. Because um, you will not, you know, be able to go to the kingdom. You have to acknowledge his son, Jesus Christ. You know, so that's all the word I have for you on today. And I'll see you on the next video.